Once again, it is my joy to come to you with today's Heart of a Shepherd devotion. Our scripture reading is Psalm chapter 17, and the title, The Treasures of the Wicked Are Fleeting, But the Righteous Will Behold the Face of God. Again, I invite you to open your Bible, follow with me as we look briefly at Psalm chapter 17. Now, Psalm 17 is titled, A Prayer of David, uh, yet we cannot be sure what occasion served as the background for the psalm. However, the fervency of the prayer leaves no doubt that its inspiration came from a time of grave danger in David's life. Now, I would suggest the previous scripture reading for Samuel 26 and 27 could be a fitting setting for the prayer. Now, consider, if you would, with me the following outline for Psalm 17. In the first four verses, I would suggest a plea for justice. Now, you're going to notice that David asserted his rightness before the Lord and his desire for the Lord to hear his cry for help. Now, David's enemies had accused him of wrongdoing against the king. Well, deceived, Saul's heart turned against David, and although he was falsely accused, he took no comfort, or took comfort rather, in knowing the Lord is omniscient. Indeed, David's concern was not the judgment of men, but the justice of God. And so with humility, David declared that the Lord had tested and tried his heart and found nothing. As a man of integrity, as you look at verse 4, David determined in his heart that he would not be provoked by his enemies, uh, not transgressed in word or deed. And then, as you look at verse 5 through 6, I would suggest the next point would be David's prayer for grace. Now, though his enemies plotted to destroy him, David prayed that the Lord would grant him grace and favor and keep his feet on the right path. With faith in the Lord, he asserted in verse 6, I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. And then in verse 7 through 12, we see David's entreaty for protection, desire to be an object of God's goodness and be saved from his enemies. David prayed in verse 8, keep me as the apple, literally the pupil of of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings, very much the picture of little chicks running to hide under the mother hen's wings. And then David recounted the malicious intent of his enemy in verses 9 through 11. He described the king as a lion that is greedy of his prey and a young lion lurking in secret places. And then verse 13 through 14, we have David's prayer for vindication. With righteous indignation, David called upon the Lord to exact his justice on the wicked in verse 13. And he reminded him that all men, even the wicked, are in the hand of God to do as he will. David considered how the wicked are, quote, men of the world which have their portion in this life in verse 14. Well, the treasures of lost men are indeed earthly. And when they die, we know they leave the rest of their substance to their babies, that is, to their heirs. Well, verse 15 now, we find here a recitation of hope and thanksgiving. Now, looking beyond the mortal veil of this earthly life, David prayed to the Lord, As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. With eyes of faith, David declared, I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. For the righteous will indeed awake and behold the face of God. Well, a closing thought for you today. And I would suggest that you look again at verse 15. And here we find the word awake. And that word describes the resurrection of believers from the dead. Remember Jesus announced he would raise Lazarus from the dead in John chapter 11 and verse 11. And he said, I go that I may awake him out of sleep. 
Now, Paul encouraged first century believers whose loved ones had died with these words. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. First Thessalonians 4 and verse 14. David also described physical death as a shadow in Psalm 23 and verse 4. That is a, a veil through which believers will pass comforted by the presence of the Lord, who is our shepherd. And nevertheless, there awaits the dreadful beginning of perpetual darkness and eternal suffering for lost sinners who die, rejecting the Lord and his offer of salvation through Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. The Apostle John, writing in the book of Revelation, writes prophetically of sinners who reject Christ, Revelation 20 and verse 15, whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And yet, we have this hope for all who acknowledge that the wages of sin is death, and that is that the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I do want to invite you to subscribe to my heartofashepherd.com website. There you will find additional thoughts and questions from today's devotional in Psalm 17. Once again, thank you for being a part of the Heart of a Shepherd. God bless and bye-bye.